Excellent, sir. The vacation in Lausanne and was exquisite. Good, what do you know about the Steve? Well, just as much as I read in the papers. A flying wing, ultra modern. Devastating fire and undetectable to radar. Exactly. And the steel is even more what the public saw was only an obsolete version. An operational version is being tested in my armor with one of the top guns, the best pilots in aviation. But these guys have quite a problem. Of what kind? Well, a kind of payloading. The steel has disappeared. Any suspicion? The Pentagon suspects the Soviets. Still, various sources of information leave us to think that Moscow isn't involved. Who then? That's for you to discover. It is presumed that the airplane has landed in Santa Paragua. It's only a rumor, but the Prime Minister wants full details. Every square inch of the countryside has been finally come nothing. One of our agents is already there. According to his last report, he seems to be onto some most interesting information. He will contact you as soon as you arrive. Hum. Charlie asked me to give you your new briefcase. Good luck, John. Thanks, sir. Finally, a coin. When you pick it up, it seems like you're having a DJ view. You stick a coin in the box. A new slipper. But it worked the first time. Do you think they repaired it since the last time? One of the articles attracts your attention. All Fonzo Merguez, government spark as a man, announced this morning that a reception will be given at the palace to celebrate the reopening of diplomatic relations between Santa Paragua and the UK. Hello, officer. My name is Blaine. John Blaine. He and my grandmother rides a bicycle. It's so killing. You open the passport and you don't find anything else than what you already know. Okay. You take the money. Okay, you take it. Okay, you take it.
the sacred compartment open. Okay, you take it. You insert it in the slot that looks like it's the right place for it. The science says. The science says. England. You push the button and after a few seconds, the passport comes back out. Here's an English passport in good condition. You take a new passport. You close the briefcase. I don't see You show your passport to the customs official. Everything okay, center. Have a good day. Hello, Senorita. My name is Blaine. John Blaine. Blaine, wait a second. I think I have something for you. There it is. It's a telegram that just arrived. Thanks, Senorita. Flight 714. MR Martinez. Stop. Your airline ticket, center, please. You show your ticket to the guard. Good. You can pass. A sticker on your baggage reads. Paul Cusett. A sticker on your baggage reads. Philip Chastel. A sticker on your baggage reads. M.R. Martinez. Okay, you take it. Okay. It opens automatically. You find an electric razor and a watch. You put the watch onto your wrist and slip the razor into your pocket. Then you close the suitcase.
I slash DC one one oh votes. It's a plain old electric razor. You see that there is a battery compartment on the back. Okay. You take the cover off of the battery compartment. No batteries. Instead, the slot contains a cable. You draw the cable out. You plug the cord in the wall. A voice coming out of the rather startles you. Contact meeting at last Lima Best Park. Recognition sign. Red carnation. Watch out. This device will destroy itself in 30 seconds. Five. Three. Two. One. Zero. Ha, ha, ha. It was a joke. You unplug the cable. You show your passport to the customs official. Gracious Center, can I see your suitcases? You hand him the bags. He opens them, looks carefully in them, and gives them back to you. By the way, Center, could I see passport again? Center Glames, is that right? Yes, my name is Glames. John Glames. But Senator Glames, could you explain why you are carrying M.R. Martin in this bag? Uh, well, uh, you see, it's a big mistake. Well, give it to me, I'll give it to its owner. But don't let me catch you again, guy. Go on. Hum, you'd better not stay at the side. I let you off here, center. Yes, here is good. Thank you.
This fellow is just living the dream of the whole Delphi software team. Sleeping. 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 One throat. You gave some money to the florist. You are paid up, center. Choose one. Okay. You choose the prettiest carnation. Okay. You put it in your buttonhole. Mm. Rah. Gone. I'm lost. Listen to me. The dark. The documents. In a safe place. Here. Here. Here is. The key. Arg. In a burst of energy, he holds the key out to you, taped to a card, and falls down on the ground. Curious to open the briefcase. Which contains a call to letter. Good God. But this briefcase belongs to one of your own agents. Since you realize that it's a briefcase from one of your own agents, you set a call to letter. Bravo. It worked. The secret compartment in the briefcase contains a big envelope and a sort of electronic box. You examine the box. 
There are eight lighted builds and an on slash off switch on the top, and four little suction cups on the bottom. You slide the box into one of your huge pockets. Okay. Take the envelope suddenly. No movements, MR blames. Give me that briefcase. You. But the assassination. I hope you like that little trick. Your colleague has been very little cooperative, sorry to say, and we've been obliged to play this trick on you to get the briefcase open. One of the men takes hold of the envelope and opens it. Everything is there, Colonel Carpub. No name, Comrade Dostrovich. No name. Okay, let's go. Everything is ready, Colonel Carpub. No name the dot. Follow me, Comrade Dostrovich. From Russia, with love, Mr. Glaim. Several stones are piled on top of each other. Somehow or other you clear away the stone. You feel something at your fingertips, something sharp. A piece of metal. It's hard to see what it is exactly, but it seems sharp to the touch. Great idea. You rub the ropes together vigorously against a piece of metal. After a lot of effort, the ropes finally loosen. Free at last. You clear away the ground with your little agile hands and soon you discover that a piece of metal is only the end of the pickaxe. You grab the thing that you wanted so much.
The guy watches you approach and breaks out into a shrill voice. Brasilis. Brasilis. Take advantage of this exceptional offer today for in 20 cruisers. Yes. I said 20. Swimmers, wine surfers. This Brasilis is for you. Hello, Center. Yes, this is an extraordinary invention. Simple, dependable, and discreet. It inflates automatically when you press the button. Don't miss this occasion. Here, you're a nice guy. For you, I sacrifice this grass it for one nine little cruisers. Good. I'm going to take one of these grass it for you. It's a wise precaution center, you won't regret it.
press the button on the grass cell discreetly. A very light and DRS elder settlement must and deep well see gunfo. Thank God, we finally found you dead and quick.
Center President, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to present today a number THC is famous all over the world. It's an act that only I am the only one on earth or elsewhere to perform.
Eso quieren. There's a magnificent statue on the desk. Okay. You push the arm man. A safe. You place the box on the door of the safe. Okay. You switch it on. Okay. You switch it off and... Don't be dreaming. It opens, and shows the famous envelope of documents that you wanted so much. The world is small, M.R. Glames. Karpov. No, M. Ostrovich. No names, idiot. No names. Give me the envelope, M.R. Glames. Hello, gentlemen. It's a family reunion, may I join you? Ha, ha, ha. Catch them. Catch them, I want them dead or alive.
the passage closes behind you, the water parts, will you have found a decompressor. You decide to get rid of your palms and your diving outfit. The torso is just big enough to let someone your size through. It's had no F. Okay, you open it. Hello, Mr. Glaine. Are you enjoying our company up until now? So you are the famous M.R. Glaine. But you told me a lot about you. Let me introduce myself. I am D.R.Y., the absolute master of spider. My organization spreads out throughout the whole world. It has its orders at all levels from the Mesa. Your government is quite made to believe that they will stop me, M.R. Glaine. We control a weapon that is total. The instrument of destiny is in my power and thanks to it, all the rampant and stupid vermin that infests this earth will be exterminated. But time is precious, so let us pay attention to you, dear sir. My lovely tyrant has are kept hungry. Do you know M.R. claims that these little darlings are capable of eating an entire man in less than a minute? You wouldn't want to make them wait any longer, would you? You pour several drops of acid on the keyhole. It melts. Grado. You just made a step towards freedom, but no more, or else you step into tyrannous. A tiny climbing iron jumps out of the watch and plants itself in the wall. A tiny climbing iron jumps out of the watch and plants itself in the wall. Well done. A steel wire is now secured between the two walls.
Your discrete entrance was perfect to solve your tax. Okay. You go over to the soldier and punch him in the nose. Is this reasonable? You take the uniform. You take a boost. One moment, please. Okay, you unleave the laces and slide them into your pocket. You carefully tie up a soldier. There he is, wrapped up like a roast beef in a string ready to go in the oven. He won't bother you now. Good work. You take a napkin. You bind his mouth with the napkin so he can't call out. Now he's as quiet as a mouse. Okay. Take it. It opens. This drawer is full of blank wood and stamps. You grab hold of the wood and stamp. It opens. This drawer is empty. Open it. It opens. The drawer is full of blank wood and stamps. Okay. You take a pair of them. Good idea. You lace your boots. So dear, please go fetch me a glass of water.
fill up a glass. In the clothing pocket, there are instructions for your mission. Okay, take it. You read. Mission order. Priority max plus agent. 743. Mission. Buy all the fantastic games of Delphine software. You are in total agreement. A rescue panel. It's not delivered with force. Why not, if you think you would go to the beach this afternoon? You hand the glass to the officer. Thanks so dear. You replace the wooden stamp that you just took with a blank one. The stamp is disposer. You open it. The cigarette has a blue ring around it. The cigarette has a gold ring around it. The cigarette has a gold. Okay. You empty the tobacco out of the cigarette. Only a cigarette paper remains. You place the leaf on the glass. After several seconds the thumbprint becomes quite visible.
You delicately take a leaf off the glass and discover a plastic film, an exact replica of the thumbprint that your Pfizer left on the glass. You take a print. It is a stamp pad. You tie down the stamp. Okay. You stamp the mission order. You slide the mission order into the opening. Next to the bulletproof window, the guard makes a sign for you to pass. You won't find anything. It's an ordinary... Okay. You plug in the razor. You turn on the on slash off button on the razor. It turns itself on. Okay. You pick up the razor out of the garbage. Come in, MR Glame, we were only awaiting your arrival to begin. Come on, MR Glame, take off this suit, it doesn't flatter you. The day has gone, MR Glame, the world will finally know its master. 
Nothing can stop us now. Here we are at the dawn of a new world. Isn't it exciting, MR Glean? Surface. Surface. The world will soon bend, MR Glean's these retarded imbeciles thought they would take my menace seriously. They'll soon discover that one doesn't play with DRY without dire consequences. Visualization of a trajectory. Y three four six dot QY. Shut up, Glenn. Dot QY. A message from the steel. Nothing to report target approaching. Firing corridor clear. All systems go. Over. You tell yourself. I must have forgotten several things. There you are, Mr. Glenn. You are going to witness live the birth of a new world. You think? I am helpless here, unable to do anything. Destroy in five seconds. What's happening? You throw the explosive cigarette on the computer which controls all entrances and exits of the island, hoping that the whole place will blow up. What's happening? I do do something. I do. I order you to stop this right here. Do you understand that? Ah. Help. Glenn. Don't believe that your gadgets make an impression on me. He destroyed the main computer of the island. We re-lost. You got what you deserved, Mr. Glenn. Mr. Glenn, you're going to pay heavily for that. Julia will be my first victim. Help man! Help me! Julia. Hold tight, I am coming. Okay. 
to insert a compact disc in the CD player so that the steel won't have radar cover anymore. It can be easily detected by your agency which will destroy it. Hold on. Help me. Yeah. Hold tight, I am coming.